There's been a lot of things this year that have decimated the crypto market, whether that be hacks, collapses, war. But I would argue that nothing has decimated the crypto market more than inflation and interest rates. They're among us right now. Okay, This is not something new. We're all aware that this stuff is going on. You see it everywhere in the news right now. You see it in the stores. And it hasn't really changed much as the year has gone on. Now, we have one more FOMC meeting happening this year. You can see the dates behind me here, December 13th and 14th. So we're only two weeks away. Now, in this meeting, per the minutes that we received from the last FOMC meeting, it sounds like interest rates hikes are going to lessen. And this may be the last interest rate hike that we get for quite some time. Now, the whole market is expecting and prepared for another half a point of interest rate hikes. I wish they wouldn't do another hike, but unfortunately, that's what they think needs to happen in order to get inflation under control. Now, that being said, inflation has been dropping. If you didn't see, it dropped almost a half a point at the last or in the last CPI report that we got last year. Now, keep in mind, too, that immediately after this, December 15th, we are going to be getting the next CPI report, too. Now, that will tell us what inflation has done again over a rolling 12-month period. And we're probably going to see another drop, right? Inflation is pretty much leveled out at this point, and we're starting to see this come down as we shed some of those numbers that we had from earlier in the year, or later part of last year, rather. Now, this could obviously be good for crypto. Crypto has gotten to a point where... It's somewhat stabilizing, I do, and I say somewhat because who knows what else can come out of the woodworks, right? We know about, obviously, the FTX collapse. That's been the big story this month. Over the last three weeks, we've felt the pain from that. Now, BlockFi has filed, I believe, filed for bankruptcy, at least at the time I'm making this video. If I'm not correct, just let me know. But they are under a collapse as well, okay? This is not surprising. We knew that there were some you know, entanglements there. Um, and whether this has a big impact or not has yet to be seen or realized in the market. The market's actually been green today, which is, which is good, right? Green the last couple of days, we started to see over this past week, some sort of recovery by the market. Now that could be because we pulled back so hard and so violently from the FTX fallout that it was just due for some sort of rebound. So this meeting that's happening in two weeks, this FOMC meeting, this could provide us some kind of clarity as to what the market is going to do, you know, moving into the end of the year. And as we begin, hopefully what will be a good 2023, I'm expecting some sideways movements. You know, I, I guess they're probably going to stay on par with that 50 basis point hike. Um, I'd be surprised if they go lower. I there, I don't think there's a very high likelihood that they're going to go higher. They've already said that there's really no need for that at this point. I really hope not, because at that point, I mean, you could be, you know, stifling the economy and causing some some pain there. I mean, we're already technically in a recession, even though the U.S. government says we're not in a recession. But that's, again, a whole other story. But we'll obviously see how this plays out. We're two weeks away. These are the dates that you guys need to know and be aware of, because this could be what, you know, moves crypto one way or the other. It's done it in the past, and I'm guessing that it'll continue to be the case moving forward. But just wanted to keep you guys updated as always. Um, if you guys haven't already, definitely show your support for the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. Keep in mind, we are all in this together and we will make it through this. So hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and I really hope to catch you in the next one.